Y'all are sus as hell. I'm gonna learn so much about you guys today. Things that I could probably go my whole life without reading. Today I will be reading, exposing, and ranking your confessions that you sent in to me. You should follow my Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be included in future videos where I traumatize you. My nose is stuffed up, I need to do some nays and X. I've been sick for the past two weeks. Now that I did my coke, we can continue. <coughs> Should I even be filming right now? Probably not. There's many YouTubers that have done this video before where they read your secrets and expose your confessions. A couple of videos caught my eye by this YouTuber. She read the confessions and then she ranked them. So the way I'm gonna rank your confessions, okay? Keep with me here. So the first tier is, mm, it's just another Tuesday. It's exactly how it sounds. It's all good, just another Tuesday. Next up is, I kinda get it. If I read your confession and I'm like, huh, it's going there. I'm concerned. It's it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. But I am getting a little worried. Coupon for therapy. This is where we start getting into some darker areas. Maybe we get into some trauma or like some things that shouldn't be on the internet. But it's not the worst. The worst is I'm calling the police. This is for if you send me a confession and it's um, evidence. It could potentially get, you know, the CIA on my ass. They're like, let me see your phone. Let's hope we don't get there. Well, it'd be good for the views. When I was in daycare, I used to eat the cotton out of pillows during rest time. Oh, we're starting this video off on an amazing note. I'm concerned. You know, it's not great. When I was six, I saw my brother and his girlfriend doing it, and I watched them until they stopped. Okay. You know, you were six. I kind of understand. Because when you're six, you don't know what's happening, so you're genuinely like, whoa. I drunk peed outside a gas station, left a good 20 foot long trail running through the parking lot. Just another Tuesday. I reported my friend to the school guidance for having over a hundred photos of child porn. The entire student body and I watched him get arrested off of school grounds and he still does not know it was me. You're doing God's work, sister. I kind of understand. I once swallowed a small magnet to see if I could stick myself to the fridge and never told my parents. Good, because they would have sent you away. But I kind of understand. <laughs> Oh my God. So one day my mom got me a fish and his name was Boomer. Well, one night I washed the dishes and didn't wash all the soap off of my hands. So when it was 12 in the morning, I played hot potato with Boomer and the next morning my mom cleaned his tank and it died. And I blamed it on her, but I never told her I killed him. I'm concerned. So my best friend has this really hot brother. So whenever I went over to her house to sleep over or something, when she was asleep, I would go and see what her brother was doing because I'm a night owl and cannot sleep at all anyways. So I went to go see what her brother was doing and he was playing GTA. <laughs> He gets it. So I hung out in his room and a little bit later that night, me and him ended up doing the dirty. Me and him are still together since that night and my best friend still does not know about that. When it happened, I was 15 and her brother was 16. Brother fucker. That's not that bad. Well, maybe tell your best friend that you're fucking her brother. I had sex with four of my cousins. I'm not calling the cops, but here's a free coupon to therapy. I went on vacation with my pastor and she made me angry, so I put mold in her hot chocolate. Hashtag attempted murder. <gasps> Y'all are crazy. I kinda understand. I used to eat my dog's food. I'm concerned. I think my grandma should kill her dog. Why? Like, is there a reason? What'd the dog do to you? My grandma gave my sick grandfather 10 times the amount of medicine he needed. He died. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Um, I'm calling the police. Your grandma has some explaining to do. I slept with the homophobic friend in our high school friend group. I think he's still closeted. I kind of understand. Because I know a lot of gay people are going to be like, Jordan, shut the fuck up. Don't encourage that. Let me speak. That's kind of like the dream. It's a fucking flex. Oh my God. One time my brother might have been having an asthma attack outside in the middle of the night. It was a really bad winter too and I was the only one awake. But he's made my life so bad. Honestly, I plugged in my earphones and pretended to sleep. He was okay though, but somehow I still feel guilty. Yeah, you should. I'm calling the police. There are so many confessions. Google has now given me an Excel sheet. Great, so excited. Me and my three cousins all had a, you know what? I'm not sure that I do. Did you have a party? Free coupon to therapy. I shoved a gift from my third grade teacher up my 
Well, what was the gift? And your poor fucking teacher. She's like, I just thought it was a cute gift. Why are you shoving it where the sun don't shine? I'm concerned. My ex tried to kill me, so I lit his car on fire. <laughs> Just another Tuesday. I went on a date with a guy and instead of giving him a hug like he was moving in for, I instinctively dabbed him up instead. I kind of feel bad, but not really. I had so much fun tonight. You did too? I'm so glad. Well, I'm gonna go inside. That's embarrassing. I eat soap in the shower and I have a written list of people who I want to take off the face of the earth with my own hands. I heard my parents having sex and cried. I jerked off to WWE. Okay. Right after my little brother was born, I had a dream of cutting him into three pieces of my stepmom screaming bloody murder when she saw. I was 12. Therapy. This guy paid me like $45 for nudes and I sent him a cropped version of a James Charles ass pic. It's all good, just another Tuesday. I ripped the head off a baby doll and shoved forks into the bottom and now I'm terrorizing children with it. Her name is Chelsea and she's a hot babe. Therapy. I nearly poisoned my father multiple times. Whoops. That whoops does not feel genuine. I flirted with the father of my church and we almost hooked up. I was 14 at the time, but in my defense, he looked like Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna say that Mr. Ryan Gosling lookalike is a pedo. I once saw porn on my dad's gallery, and a few days after that, I found the same videos on my granddad's phone. He's his father-in-law. So basically, they share porn. Blech. Ew. I used to eat cat shit as a kid. I've been stalking my ex on Facebook as his mom, and we've been having conversations on Messenger. Just another Tuesday. I was hiking today with my camera and found a dead rat. I took a picture of it, then kicked it. Why'd you have to kick the dead rat? I've been thinking about having sex with my uncle. Advice? When I was 10, I tried having sex with my dog. Please help, I'm traumatized. Yeah, you should be. When I go to friends' houses, I suck their toothbrushes. It's been two years since I've done it, but I'm now 19. Don't try and act like, oh, it's been so long since I've done it. That means you were 17 sucking on your friend's toothbrushes. If I found out someone was sucking on my toothbrush, I blackmailed my Australian private school principal for sleeping with my PE teacher because his wife and him are my neighbors and she's pregnant with twins. Long story short, I get C's and above now until I graduate and only my Nana knows. XX. You get it. When I was in first grade, I pushed a kid out of a bus and he died. It was completely an accident and kind of not my fault, but yeah. But yeah. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I didn't kill someone when I was in first grade, but when I was in preschool, I pushed a kid down the slide and broke his arm. When I was younger, I'm talking eight or nine, I was playing outside and decided to throw a nice sized rock and I heard an old person scream. I had hit her. Just another Tuesday. I get so tempted to just eat my fingers, like just fucking bite them off. I get you. I planned on killing my teacher. It didn't work. My health teacher hates me, like hates me. I allegedly humped a mannequin and all of a sudden I'm a bad person. At my old house, I would poop in the vents and blame it on my sister. One time in middle school, this kid was choking on bread and I turned to him and said, how breadful, and didn't help him. You sick bitch. It was the last period of the school day and I really needed to use the bathroom. Before I went to class, I decided to stop at the closest bathroom. I heard the bell that indicated class had started while I was still in the stall, so I quickly got up, rushed out, and washed my hands before heading into the hallway again. As I'm walking towards my classroom, I feel something bumping on the backside of my legs. I kept trying to turn around to see what it was, but I couldn't see anything. I thought I was imagining it, so I kept walking. I go into class and walk to my seat, which is at the back of the classroom, meaning I have to walk by everyone. When I sit down in my seat, I look around and see one guy across the classroom staring at me with his mouth hanging open. Seconds after seeing him staring at me, I realize I feel a tugging at the back of my pants. I reach back and pull the longest piece of toilet paper 
<laughs> conceivable. It got stuck on the inside of my pants as I was rushing out of the bathroom stall. And the worst part, it was wet at the end. I am so, so sorry that happened to you. When I was little, I had a pee bowl in my room that I used because I was scared to pee at night. My dad was a biker. He died in a motorcycle accident. He had this huge old garage dash barn that he spent hours in. I was cleaning it out with my sister and we found a locked briefcase buried in the cupboard. We popped the lock and it was full of women's clothing, stockings, lingerie, things like that. And definitely not my mom's size. I was pissed. He had been cheating on her. Then I got into his AOL accounts because I had to go in and shut his accounts down, where I found all these screen names that he had made over the years. Every one of them had to do with stockings and panties. That's when I realized that the clothing in the briefcase wasn't a woman's. It was his. Um... <sighs> Just another Tuesday. So I was like eight or nine at the time and I was in a maze and I really had to take a shit. One thing led to another and I took a shit in the middle of the maze. Great. I crawled under the rest of the maze to make it less obvious I just took a shit in there. When I was chilling with my legal guardian, a group of cleaning people ran into the maze and I asked my legal guardian what happened in the most innocent way and he said, a crazy person pooped in the maze. You little faker. What? Someone pooped in the maze? That's so crazy. <laughs> You're sick. Once at church camp when I was 11, me and this girl scissored in the little bunk fort and we're still friends and I'm an atheist. This is my 13th reason. 